Hello everyone, welcome back to Rookie 3D Prints and in this video I'm going to be finally removing the single color and we're going to be putting the multicolor system on. So the poop, the cutter, and then the multicolor uh, part. So that's the plan. Um, I might put everything together because it will be sitting on the ground for now. As you can see that it's just sitting on a Walmart table. I do have these feet holding it so it can't shake anywhere and it's on each foot and they're all screwed down by four screws on each corner there's a screw so let's get started so we're gonna push this over to the middle grab our tool and on the max some reason it is on the back compared to like on the other printers where it's on the front so this makes it a little bit more tricky but not the worst out there so I'm gonna set you guys up here there we go I will grab that up and we have to remove the tube as well so all you have to do is push on the push right here and it pulls right out So it's these two screws, pretty, pretty easy I would say. And there it is. Then we're going to take the new one, pop it right on, grab this first screw. And try to get it into place. There we go. I'm going to tighten that just a little bit, but not too tight. I want to make sure I can get this other screw in. Probably don't have to worry about that, but just a habit. Now I'm going to tighten this one down. Tighten the other one. From here. We're going to do the cutting tool because that looks like the next easiest part. So it's just right here and it just looks like you just grab and pop it out. Yep. And then if you ever need to change it, you just have to push right there. So there we go. And now the cutting tool. Last but least, we're going to do the poop shoot. So I'm going to set you guys up on my Cobra 2. There we go. So, there's the two screws here that line up right up over here. And then we have the notch right here and it does slide into place if you can see. So, and that's going to go right there. So, you're going to stick it in. If I can figure that out. There we go. And then I slide it, push forward. Nope, oh, nope, did not do it. I guess it just doesn't slide down very much. So I'm going to put you guys back down and I will screw the first one on to get it into place. Okay. I'm not the happiest with how that screw looks, so I might take it back out. This one looks fine, so I'm just going to tighten it all the way down. There we go. I'm going to take this one back out. There we go. And there we go. We now have the multicolor set up. The four to one, the cutting tool, and then the pooping tool. 
So, and what it looks like is it just comes over now. And I see, when I was looking, it's right here. And it just slides it back this time now. And that's what this is meant for, to catch on. So they're not relying on magnets anymore like the last one. Or the Cobra 3. And then from there, when you want to put the Ace Pro on, you're going to have the wire, you're going to put it right there, and then put the three or four tubes right there. You can feed them through here. In my next video here shortly, I will be finishing up the dual stand. So I got Darren 3D. I got his setup for the dual colors or for the two Ace Pro for the Cobra 3 Max. So I'm going to be printing that up here. And I'll show you really quick. Sorry for the huge mess, but here's the beginning of it. There are just two pieces left that I need to print. And that's what holds the aces in place. But I needed the Cobra 3 to get that going. And I've had a few little problems that were not the factories. They were my own mistake where I didn't turn up the heat high enough. Because the temp tower said something different. So it's working good now. But I hope this helps everyone. I will see you guys hopefully in the next uh, couple days to week.